So there is one other uh, tree that has melee power in it, and that is Mac Ar the Arcanotech one. 349,000 plat to respect one tree. Ridiculous. This macro tech has melee power built into it. Okay, so let's... For our epic strike, I'm going to do the Sonic. We'll take our reflex saves. Rune arm recharges faster. That sounds good. Gain rune arm use. Okay. Okay, we don't need to worry about spell fail. I'll try hammer time. Just, just because we'll give it another shot. We'll take the imbue die. Uh, enhance our combat. Double strike and double shot. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, we're not going to worry about that. Not going to worry about that. This will boost the epic strike even more. So rust damage evocation that will stack vulnerability this is a electric or sonic supercharges at 30 percent action boost to speed and it stuns all right we'll try that one Uh, Radiant Prison, that's just what, like, you lock down a mob with it. Alright, we don't have Epic Mage Armor. However, we'll take... This boosts the other stuff, so we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take Overdrive. I still have three points, so... Install a drive for our rune arm blasts. Okay. Electric or sonic. We'll do sonic. Seems like we should just do rune arm DCs with that last one. Okay. Alright, so, and then we should be able to equip that. Okay, that's great. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. I haven't ever done this before. So, do you have to map? I think you do, right? You have to map your rune arm. It's prob it's here, I'm probably just missing it. Alright, that's too low. Alright, that's select party. Loot all. Alright, rune arm. Use rune arm. There we go. Okay. There we go.
All right, so I need to like put everything out on the bar. All right, I've got my rune arm. And this is the mantle right here, the force field generator. There we go. Oh, I just got a bunch of hit points. That's great. Maximum overdrive is my moment. Radiant prison. That's like a lock down a foe, right? Non-boss sealed away type of thing. Okay, Sonic Boom is our epic strike. And we will replace Trip with this hammer. Just to see how we do with it. My save for Sonic Boom is really low. R1. So this is the last of the destinies that has melee points in it that we're going to test. Isabelle Tremont waits for you here atop one of Sharn's lofty towers. She can help you contact Lucien Vaughn. Isabelle tells you to take the elevator up to the terrace, then speak to Lucien Vaughn. All right, let me Her move. Her wants you to pass along some information about the Stormreach beacon. So don't need that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We'll put that there. Since I can lock something up in a prison. We're going to try that out. I want to see what that looks like. We'll try it on this first dude that we see, too. This dude right here. Reduces the elevator yeah, so here's the prison on that dude. You'll have to find another nice. Okay, that worked. The windows shatter. And here I'm gonna roar. Okay, so I roared. There's my my epic strike. That's the hammer. The hammer damage didn't really feel that big. Gonna try. All right, there is a a roar. Uh, can't really tell. I can't really see any damage numbers for this epic strike. So I'll, I'll do one on this trigger man right here. It's like a thousand. So it's tough because even though this is melee, it's sort of like keyed around you being like a, a spellcaster, it feels like. I do like the Radiant Prison, that works effectively. Like that's a really cool way to stop a mob in its tracks. And the epic strike is good, but I don't think I have the spell power in order to make it work, but I just hit that dude for 7,000, so. So there's a roar, and let's see if I can actually do my, um, you know, my Sir William. Yeah, it's almost like I want to have Quicken on these abilities here. I mean, that's good. That was really good. We hit a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we hit this dude for. 400. I mean, the damage looks similar to the other. This looks more like an office than a boarding house. But for some reason, I'm not sure if my... Okay, that is actually shooting. I didn't notice any damage from it, though, when I shot it. We had to use one... Oh, shit, heal.
Yeah, I'm not sure I would use this unless I were on a, a like a really specific build for it. I'm gonna roar at that. This dude right here, because he'll kill me if I don't kill him quickly. Alright, he's dead. Alright, so let's... There's my epic strike on all those. Here's the hammer on all of those. And let's see if we can start burning some of these down. There's another epic strike. It's okay. It's a couple thousand. There's a roar. There's a... A hammer. I'm not seeing any damage from the hammer. I mean, if it is doing it, I'm just not seeing it. I don't know if it's a, if it's bugged or what, but I'm seeing it from the strike. My my actual melee damage though looks really good, but it's still about the same. That's about 250. And then when it procs, you know, when it crits, it can go up to about 10k it looks like. So there's a hit, just 3,700, and here's my hammer. Not a lot of damage. I think I'm getting the cold damage from my rune arm, right? So we're going to roar at this group here. And then this is my, we'll let the squilliam charge up, and then we'll hit this dude with it. I mean, it, it didn't really do anything. <laughs> this is why I never use rune arms. I, I, for some reason, I just can't get them to work right. I don't know. I know people love them and they use them all the time, but... I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? I'm going to let it charge, right? And now, shoot it. Didn't, I didn't notice anything. And I am not seeing a damage number on that hammer. I think it's broke. The strike is working, though. Hits between, like, 1,500 and 4,000, about. Which, I think you can make that go a lot higher if you had spell power. On a, on a pure melee, it's not really. But let's try... Alright, let's try here. See if we can... Can we hit this person with our with our rune arm from here? I mean, you know, that wasn't really that exciting. Maybe this rune arm just sucks. You know, maybe it's my fault for putting on a Storch Gulliam, but... My damage still looks good with the rune arm for single weapon fighting, so that's good. All right, so there's a roar. There's an epic strike. Let's see if I can kill this Arborian before he kills me. Yeah, for pure melee, no. If you were on an artificer, you wanted to do like a melee arty, I think this would be really good. There's a lot of stuff that's really, especially if you're like a warforged, there just seems to be a lot built into this tree for that, but. For an elf dragon lord, no, not so much. Like the other stuff's felt a lot stronger. I wouldn't say this is terrible, but I, like I'm almost out of mana. Right, like I need a shrine, so I won't even be able to do my epic strikes because I'm not going to have the mana for them. All right, so let's do everything with trance and haste, and I'm going to roar, and then we're going to try to burn all this stuff down. The epic strike should be cheap enough that I can just keep doing it, but we'll see. See, I also go through mana using renewal. So, okay, I don't have enough mana to do the epic strike, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna roar. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we need a shrine is, is basically what's going on. But it doesn't look like this costs mana to use, so that's good. That costs 12. That's an expensive epic strike. 20 spell points to cast that epic strike. Okay, I'm gonna put that muscle in a prison. The elevator shaft, as well and as the nearby door. War on these dudes here. The I really like that prison. That that is really like a great. It's quick. It's it's up a lot. All right, I'm gonna do a um a second wind. There, I put him in the prison again. So now he's locked down. So, I mean, he's probably the most annoying mob in this group, so... The fact that I can single him out... It, that's really cool. Like, so there's a couple of really cool things built into this tree. One is if you have the Epic Mage armor, you can boost it into becoming an untyped armor that stacks, that you can just put on people and really and greatly increase their armor class. I think it adds, what, 50 or 60 points? Like, it, it, that's un untyped so that's really neat okay so i can definitely see having that on one player if i were in like a static group just so we could all get a boost to our armor class and then um having that radiant prison lockdown would be really cool also in a static group because you could basically the party leader could call out mobs to lock down if there was like a champ you wanted to get off somebody you know if a champ was like trying to kill a healer or something like that you could you could very quickly there's other abilities but this is a really cool and it doesn't cost any mana to use so and they have no save versus so um but as far as these like it's strange to me that they don't have an actual like melee epic strike considering that this tree has melee power in it like so it kind of I kind of feel like this should have like a melee and a ranged strike in here as well. But I don't know. So there's our trance, there's our speed boost. Here's our epic moment, maximum overdrive. We're going to basically try to take out this sorcerer before he takes me out. All right, Sork is dead. A beast descends the ramp. I'm going to dragon war at all this stuff and just try to burn it down. While I'm under the influence of Maximum Overdrive, which is like really cool, right? That's like a great epic moment name. It's it's similar to Action Hero from Legendary Dreadnought, like really cool. All right, there's a second win just because I've got my back to that dinosaur trying to take out this Trigger Man. Okay, and let's take out this Trigger Man over here. All right, and now let's deal with these so we'll do a hammer on it and see if we get any damage to prop see i'm not seeing i don't know if you guys have noticed this too if anybody else is using that sonic hammer is it me am i doing something wrong or is it just not doing any damage because i'm not seeing any damage on it at all which is really weird because prior to this update 66 that sonic camera was hitting for like 20,000 all right i'm gonna try the prison on the dinosaur and see what happens it won't do anything because he's a red name but figured i might as well try you never know if they have something coded incorrectly maybe it would lock them down anyway all right, so I'm gonna retrance, rehaste. We're gonna try to burn this clan leader. Just punching my renewal, going to do a second wind, but I really wanna kill this dude. I'm gonna try to keep my 
the front of me facing that dinosaur so he doesn't flank me. Okay, needs a second wind again. I feel like I lose too much DPS if I take the t a, t a second to stop and actually do the strike. Like, even though it's 2,000 sonic damage, it's getting in the way of me swinging my sword. And apparently I'm going to have to use a second wind because they're still hitting me. I'm trying to jump so they don't hit me while I do my renewal, but that clan master, he's almost dead, so I'll get him. Alright, let's get him right now. The assault okay, on he's the tower dead. Seems to have ended. So let's try. There's the hammer. Oh, he walked towards me. Here's my strike, 2,000. Yeah, I just feel like in two seconds of swinging my sword, I can do a lot more than 2,000 damage. Maybe it's the same, but there there was a hit for 3,500, so not every time is that true, but it just seems like it's probably better off if I don't use the Epic Strike, just because it's a spell cast. Unless I'm, like, jumping around, then I can, you know, hit him with it. I'm going to try the hammer again. Alright, I saw 7,000 cold, I mean, pardon me, 700 cold damage from that hammer. But, I mean, pure thunder strike deals sonic damage, so why am I seeing cold damage? That, that has to be bugged, right? I, I'm probably getting cold damage, though, from my rune arm. Legendary Ice Shards. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Alchemical Water Attunement. Attacks and offensive spells have a chance to inflict 10 stacks of cold damage. So that's that rune. That's the, the Sir Squillium. So basically, all, anytime we see cold damage, that's the a proc of that. So when I do this hammer... I see no damage number. I do when I do the epic strike. There, I saw 983 sonic damage, but... Yeah, it's just better. Look, I did 35, 23. Like, it's just better if I don't even bother. I'm just basically better off swinging my weapon. And just because I don't want to be completely unfair to... It. We'll try to get five charges on our rune arm and then hit the dinosaur with it. He's almost dead, right? You'd think we'd be able to kill him with it. I just hit him with it. But it's not doing a lot of damage, so there have to be better rune arms out there. I think that this is a good rune arm if you want to get, like, an effect, a cold effect on your weapon, but... It has some other stuff on it, too, but as far as, like, an actual attack, that salt attack doesn't really seem to hit hard at all. I mean, this... That dinosaur has no health. I should be able to kill him, right? And I just did, like, 160 damage. That was it. We'll try to hit him again with it. Alright, that did 350. Let's go up here. Can... Alright, build up a charge and then shoot it at him. Alright, there. I mean, not a lot. A couple hundred. Like, hundred, 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 hundred. 
So I think the total was probably like 1,200, maybe a little bit less. So we'll do. We'll go to five. All right, now we're fully charged. Here we go. So yeah, it looks like each time the salt ray hit, it was for about 120. It's not a lot of damage, but the figure on the sky we were able to do it. Matches the description of Lucian Vaunt. He seems Did it feel super attack. great? No, I mean, it's, I you know, I'm sh you. I, I'm kind of thinking that the beacon this to here, Tonquin's I hammer, is busted. Good money it doesn't seem to be all. working at all. Don't think for a moment I didn't see any damage, ever. You're just this sonic boom is good, but again, like, in order to do the stun, you need to have saving throws on it, and I guess the saves are from like spell cast so if you're a spell caster yeah it'd probably be great especially if you're like a warforged so like warforged sorcerer warforged you want to use a rune arm you want to get epic mage armor i think it's good um maybe if you made like a, a buff bot like a bard buff bot you could use this tree with epic mage armor to get that like that extra buff and then use like Fate Singer for your Epic Strike or something like that. Um, maybe if you didn't want to have a shield, you could use a Rune Arm. But it's going to be like a flavor thing because I know that Rune Arms are for some people, they're like flavor. They really like them. I'm not. I'm in the school where I just don't like them that much. I think they're cool. Some of them are definitely cool. Um,. But when they first released Artificer, I played one and I liked it. But, I mean, um, even though if you watched any of my YouTube stuff, like, I did rate um, Artificer as probably, like, the best class to do hardcore as, just because they're so survivable. But it's not my favorite. I just think they're really good for hardcore. So this tree would probably make you a lot more survivable if you were on a Warforged. <laughs> 